when we chatted to Coach Savarese the other day, he, he talked about that. And he said these guys, they're playing today. They do have a spot to try and go and win. And I just think that's one position. Here's Arboleda behind. Tough angle for Victor Arboleda. Cuts it back. Armenteros cuts it. And it's Andy Polo's first goal as a Portland Timber. Well, first 10 minutes. And it's Andy Polo's goal, an assist from Samuel Armenteros, and that's the start that Giovanni Savarese will have wanted. And the position in that wide area, that's the area. I just wonder if it's opened for placement of players to try and make it their own. Just wonder, Armenteros, did he mean this initially? It looks from the second look as though he was aware that Polo was coming in, middle of the goal, easy tap in form. But Armenteros, you just look at that pass. I think he intends that. I think he's looking for Polo. Whereas today, we almost need him to be that central figure. Something that players in the midfield can look up towards and play off him. Again, Arboleda getting behind, getting past Tommy Redding. Has Armentero centrally. Oh, it should have been a second. It is a second. Samuel Armenteros minutes after the assist, and it's 2-0 Timbers. What a start for Portland. Well, it's something you and I have seen on the training ground is the pace of Arboleda. And that's always been known, but what he's doing with it, he's so much more efficient from what we've seen in preseason training and what we've seen to open this match. You look, he's got a purpose in mind. Get inside the area, get beyond his defender, and it's an easy tap in for Armateros, who needs two attempts, two digs at it. Jared Stroud into the box. Oh, a double header and a fantastic save from Jake Gleason. Pure reaction on the doorstep, and he keeps the clean sheet alive. Well, there you see Gleason at his best. It's a good ball in. It's a good flick on from the Red Bulls, too, and then the seconds as well. But you can see Gleason get himself across. He gets his feet set, and it's a good reactionary save. Staying connected with his back forward, but he's also in a position to release himself to just cut things out. Arboleda again getting forward. He has Armenteros. Oh, he takes it himself. Victor Arboleda. He has been the man for the Timbers today. The youngster. He now has a goal, and it's 3-0. Just as I compliment Duncan Arboleda, he breezes past him and his center back partner for Duncan. As Arboleda, you can see with relative ease, that pace is frightening. You can see how direct he is, and when he gets into position, he's got the calm in the mind. He knows what he wants to do with the ball. That final piece to his game is coming through today. Here comes Jordan Balin, just into the match, an academy player for the Red Bulls. Oh, Vitas, almost an own goal it is. Well, it's the first goal of this match for the New York Red Bulls. Came off, I think, the right foot of Vitas, and it is now... Three to one, first goal for John Wollenek's side. Uh, Red Bulls two time down here in Tucson. You can see if Vitas just looking to knock it back on the ground to the goalkeeper Magnitosh, he gets it all wrong, completely wrong as he just can't handle the ball. As it's bouncing, it should be an easy one. Doesn't know what's behind him, so he is just trying to play it back to the keeper. Infant doubt, that's always a tough one. You play it out for a corner kick if you're wondering instead of putting the goalkeeper under any Duress. Defensively keeping that up. Now Vitas, back post. Cascante gets his head to it. Ibobasi into Levine. Here's a tap in for Cascante. Flag stays down, and it's 4-1 for Portland. Easy, easy goal for the center back for the Timbers, and it's all about the strike from Ibobasi. Doesn't he judge this well as the ball is coming down? Gets good contact, it's a good save, but then Flores, he follows up and just needs to knock this ball up across the face of goal and be the easiest goal that center back will ever score.